Okay. Good morning, everyone. This is Amanda Peacock, who has taken a shrine making workshop from me, and she's going to share with us a little bit about why she took the workshop and what her experience was while taking it. So good morning, Amanda. I'm so grateful and happy to have you here. You look Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Well, I was a friend of mine called me one day and told me about the shrine making workshop, and she told me that uh, she would be having some friends uh, out to her place and it would be sort of a half of a day or I, I'm not sure how if it was four hours or five hours. Uh, it was a good half a day, um, if not more, uh, uh, a, a project that we'd be making and we'd all be doing it together and that it would be something that'd be really fun. And she told me it was a shrine making workshop and I wasn't really too sure about, you know, what was a shrine making workshop? What is that? So um, I was interested and curious, and uh, so I told her I would like to, to go. And so when I showed up that morning, I really wasn't sure what to expect and uh, was really pleasantly surprised by uh, just, first of all, that the other women had, had showed up for this all-day thing and had, you know, taken their Saturday or Sunday or whatever it was to, to do this project all together as a group. and. I don't know, it felt really nice sort of to do something with, with, with the other, with the other ladies. And I, uh, didn't know how much of it would be already pre-made. And I really liked the fact that we kind of made it from scratch and, uh, you basically start with pieces of wood and you glue it together, um, and paint it and decorate it. And it's just the process itself for me was, was healing. It was healing for me. I had gone through a, a pretty tough year with health concerns and the death of a, my father. And it was just all pretty overwhelming for me. And this came at the right time for me because it really felt healing. It felt, uh, the process felt like it was healing for me and, and sort of helped me just sort of move forward, just move forward and I don't know. It was, it was, I don't know how else to describe it except for that it was a healing thing for me. And, you, uh, was it making the art, the art that it thinks came through you from making art or? I think it, yeah, well, I am an artist at yes, heart. I'm you a photographer, are. so I, I'm a very visual person. Uh huh. And uh, so, yeah, I think it was, it was the process of making the art. I think it was the process of spending that time making the art with these other people. Who yes. Had also, uh -huh. Actually, most of them had sort of been through something. Yes. Um, uh huh. And it felt like we were all doing it together. Mm -hmm. you know, it, was, it was nice that we were all doing it together and the process of making the art. And, and also the fact that we were, we could bring some of our own things to put on the shrine. Although she had, you, you had plenty of things for us to put on the shrine, but it was kind of nice for me to bring some things that were personal to me mm -hmm. and put them on my shrine. Well, it's very beautiful. I'm going to come in and take a little close up. Can you tell us a little bit about what these things symbolize to you or um, well, I how you, you use it? Or Yeah, well, I mean, I brought some photographs, obviously, mm -hmm. of my family who are very important to me and mean the most to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, my sister, my dad, my son. Uh, you know, a funny picture of my sister and I just in good times having fun, my son playing football. Mm. The, the images are just, you know, were things that I kind of had next to my bed that were some mm -hmm. special images to me. And, uh, and the other things are um, the peacock feathers because I, my name is Amanda Peacock. I married Jack Peacock and we have a lot of peacock things. So mm -hmm. I don't know, the feather is just sort of part of who we are and, you know, mom's rock, you know, being a mom is, you mm -hmm. know, one of the best things I've ever done in my life. And it's important to me. And uh, Greece, we have the little picture of Greece, which is, and also the boat on top and this little thing on top here and this eye and all this stuff is from Greece because that's a very important place to me, special place to me, healing place for me. Mm -hmm. 
um, little camera for being the photographer that I am. Oh, oh, that's just great! Look at that. It works right. It used to be on a keychain. I just uh -huh. broke it off the keychain. And you know the driftwood. I'm very. Uh, I'm a beach person. Love the beach. Love being mm -hmm. there the feeling of the beach um, and where do you have it do you have it in a place at home where you look at it often or use it or light your candle or? i do you know i have it i have it on this piece next to my bed and uh, it's not right next to my bed it's kind of one one piece over and up high and i i haven't lit it too many times but i have lit it maybe about three times and uh Kind of when all the other lights in the room were off, and mm -hmm. it sort of highlighted my mm. my uh, shrine. Oh, and, that's yes. Yeah, so I look at it all the time. I look at it every day. Oh, uh -huh, I love that. So, yeah, and I love it. It's uh, definitely a picture of your beautiful, joyous life. Thank you. And I'm so grateful to have you here today and share it with us. And Thank hopefully, you. many more people will be able to experience this and. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, and I just so. have the fun and have the beauty. So, thank you, Amanda. Is there anything else that um, you want to throw in there no, before I we just quit? Wanted, just want to thank you so much because it was just a wonderful experience, and I just feel lucky and blessed to have had this opportunity. Oh, thank you so much. All right, bye, everyone.